basically like halfway through me editing this video I kind of listened to what I said and I kind of changed up what I wanted to do um so I have this little initial video of me talking about going to cosmetology school um then halfway through um, my journey I will like do a check-in video with you guys and then um talk a little about talk a little bit about um, how I'm feeling in the middle and what I could suggest if anyone is trying to go to cosmetology school and um, I will do one towards the end as well to just kind of um, let you guys know my full journey and experience and just to be able to helpful for you guys. I am. Um, so I'm very open to doing that. So let me know if you guys are interested in the first school today. Um, if you guys are interested in this look, I would love to recreate it for you guys. Um, again, but, but if I ever do a video and y'all like makeup, just comment underneath and just be like, sis, I like your makeup. Can you recreate that for us? Can you share a segment um, on my channel about autism? So, if you guys didn't know, I have a five year old daughter um, and she's autistic. Um, and through my journey and me and her dad's journey through uh, this bigger journey that we're going through with her. Um, I've learned a lot about autism. Um, I've also got to see like the misconceptions that people have about autistic children. How, why, when, where, how does it happen? Like, and then there's a lot of myths about it as well. Like, you know, people just assume certain things or they assume that people don't take into consideration that not all autistic children are the same. Every autistic child is different. Some of them have different sensitivities than others, and I kind of want to shed light on that. I also noticed in my journey going through um, being an autistic mother, I see a lot of other autistic mothers, um, you know, on social media, um, talking about certain things, and I kind of just want to jump on board. Like, I feel like I have knowledge that I can give my daughter on social media as much because she can't be vocal with me and tell me that she does or doesn't want her picture posted. Um, and that means a lot for, for me as a mother to have her consent because just because she came out of me doesn't mean she doesn't have feelings. Um, so I don't like to post a lot about her and put her face on camera often, but I am totally fine with expressing my own journey and our journey in this thing together. Um, and I would love um, to take you guys on that journey with us as well. People are very harsh on children on social media nowadays. And my fear of that is me putting too much information about my experience with my child and my child's experience with autism on social media sometimes because people can be very judgmental. They could be very, um, sorry to say it like this, but some people can really just be mean and you know, want to point fingers and play the blame game when it comes to certain things. And I kind of just feel like you can't really talk about something if you don't have any understanding. 
or you don't, you've never had experience with it. Um, so I kind of just feel like I can show my journey with you guys, express my feelings about certain things, some of the things that we have overcome, some of the things that we still struggle with, um, and you know, just I want to be a support system for another mother that's going through the same thing that I'm going through, or maybe she has questions about autism, or how do I go from this point to that? Where do I go from here? Um, how do I get help with this? Where do I turn to? How do I find out? How do I get diagnosed? So, like, that's something that I should do. Um, so I'll be starting that segment pretty soon. Resources, or they don't have people around them that can help them. Um, because just because you have family and you have people around us and you have a support system, um, and I know what that feels like, so I would love to. That's the end of this video, you guys. Yes, that is the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you watch this video, please give me a like, comment some feedback for me, uh, subscribe, share my share my channel if you guys have time. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and hopefully the next video that you guys see will be. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!